Hello and welcome to Mickeyology, where we take Disney a little too seriously. Ever since Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs debuted, the Disney studio has been famous for adapting fairy tales into films. While Disney always puts a new spin on these stories, the stories themselves aren't original. They're revisions of famous stories from the past. So where did the stories behind Disney's big fairy tale features come from? Here's a brief Disney-fied timeline of famous fairy tales. Cambridge Dictionary defines a fairy tale as a traditional story written for children that usually involves imaginary creatures and magic. Many of these stories first appeared in ancient times and evolved as people passed them down orally through generations. Centuries later, authors began committing these tales to writing and printing them for a mass audience. Charles Perrault was a French writer who compiled fairy tales and published them into a storybook. Several of the stories from his book became famous, including a pair of stories called Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Shortly after Perrault published his book of Western fairy tales, another Frenchman named Antoine Galland translated Middle Eastern folk stories and published them in the famous 1001 Nights. However, Galland added a tale to the book that wasn't there in the original, a tale about a poor boy and a magical lamp that we now know as Aladdin. The French continued the fairy tale tradition when a writer named Gabriel Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve took the ancient love story of a hideous beast and a virtuous young woman and set it in a magical castle surrounded by roses. Thus, the story of Beauty and the Beast was born. The most famous collection of fairy tales in the Western world has to be the one compiled by the Grimm brothers. The Grimms published it in 1812, forever transforming the world of literature. Their book contained many stories that went on to become staples of children's lit, including Snow White, The Frog Prince, and Rapunzel. Hans Christian Andersen wrote original fairy tales that we now consider just as classic as ancient stories. One of his most famous debuted in 1837, and it told the story of a little mermaid who pined for a human prince. Anderson followed up The Little Mermaid with another fairy tale about a girl seeking to rescue a boy and heal his frozen heart. It was called The Snow Queen, a tale in seven stories. Another original fairy tale appeared in Italy when Carlo Collodi published a novel about a mischievous puppet who must learn to be a good boy. He called it The Adventures of Pinocchio. J.M. Barrie introduced the world to a character who goes on adventures in a fantastical land accompanied by a fairy named Tinkerbell. Peter Pan debuted as a stage play in 1904. Disney released Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1937, turning a classic fairy tale story into a full-length animated movie. It was such a hit that at the time of this video, when adjusted for inflation, Snow White is the 10th highest grossing movie of all time. Disney would have been foolish not to try to build on that success, and the studio has continued animating fairy tale films for almost a century. So there you have it. That is a brief timeline of the hundreds of years worth of fairy tale stories that Disney has made famous. Have you read these stories? And have you seen the Disney versions? If so, which version of each one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go to help our channel out. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.